Hey everyone, this is a mock review for my spinning ballerina. You just saw a demo of her doing her spinning motion, and now I'll just talk about each of these parts on their own. Okay, so first let's talk about this spinning mechanism here. This is known as the Trammel of Archimedes, otherwise known as a do-nothing grinder, and it was actually a video that one of my friends shared that demonstrated what this does that inspired this whole thing. So the idea is that you've got these two beams within these channels, and those beams are restricted to only move along those channels. And then if you combine them with a crank on top, then you can get this interesting motion now. The, all points along this beam, specifically the end one as well, trace out the shape of an ellipse, which is quite interesting. And so I built one of these in a couple of hours and I was like, oh, I guess it's somewhat interesting, but I feel like I can do something a bit more special with it. Uh, and so I decided, okay, if I add a cog here and then add something on there, then if I just put something to demonstrate on that and move this around, then that means that something can spin on top like so. Uh, my original idea was to have maybe two planets or something, maybe a moon and a planet orbiting each other because then they'd be moving around and spinning at the same time. But as you may be aware, making spheres out of Lego and Bionicle is quite difficult. And I don't really want to just put a single planet piece on there or something. So I thought, hmm, what else can spin? And so that led me to the idea of a dancer. Here we have the ballerina. Um, I was thinking what sort of dancers are known for spinning? Uh, and a pirouetting ballerina is one of the obvious ones. And so I started off by using these Kopaka shields as a sort of reference guide uh, for a tutu, and then that sort of dictated all the rest of the proportions. Now, the interesting thing about this one, which makes it different from my other humanoids, is that she doesn't have all of the joints that a normal humanoid might have. Uh, specifically because she's designed to stay, well, relatively static, I suppose, spinning on top. And so she doesn't need all of those joints. Uh, and so uh, she doesn't have any hip joints or, or knee joints. This is actually a loose uh, knee. It's quite a delicate, um, quite a delicate process of getting her foot to actually engage in the nook of her other leg. Uh, it involves like just pushing out her foot by just the fraction of an inch, something like that, to get it to lock in. Uh, but it's easiest just to let it hang just for now. And I quite like the proportions on her. Uh, she's just a tiny bit smaller than your standard Toa humanoid. Uh, and so I had to you know, make a couple of shortcuts here and there. And I'm quite a fan of the colour separation, I tried to make her skin colour distinct from uh, the colour of her clothes as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, very, very simple and designed that it can stand largely on a point without falling over. And so you put the two together to get uh, a spinning ballerina that moves along uh, this track. I wanted it to um, emulate the kind of old style music box type decoration I put a little music piece here. I got this from a Lego Harry Potter advent calendar, actually. So it means that when you just push it along, she does this quite graceful spin. Like so. I have to be quite delicate here because the weight distribution is quite important. Um, because my the grooves that these beams move along are very simple. Uh, it's quite easy for them to fall out if it gets too imbalanced, which is why it was important for all of her weight to go down into this beam. Uh, and so I have to be quite careful not to push down or pull up uh, too much, otherwise the whole thing might become a little bit unstable. But yeah, that is my ballerina mock. Thank you for watching.